Okay, so I am up. I've been up for about 15, 20 minutes, but I've been downstairs. And that's why I've got my lovely cup of tea. But before we have that cup of tea, I'm going to go in that bathroom that has the light on. And I'm going to wash my face and my hair and have a big wash in general because I need it. Because I feel I'm, what I'm going to do every morning now is normally... Oh, bloody hell. Look at pretty. In the mirror. Oh, this t-shirt's got smaller. Somehow. <laughs> See, without one wearing a large t-shirt. Normally I wear extra large because I'm a, I'm a big guy, you know. But then I noticed that I lost weight. Unless I gained that much weight that quick, Jesus. <laughs> I know I haven't eaten that much since. Um, but from now on, every morning, I'm going to have a quick wash. Literally a quick shower because I don't shower every morning. I shower normally just at night time or just a quick wash on the face. I'm going to have a full shower every morning now to make sure that I'm all clean from top to bottom, even if I'm not going out. And yes, I am not going out today again for the third time in a row, because first day, my eyes were a bit shitty. Yesterday, eyes were a bit shitty, but they were getting better. Today, good today. Look here. Rain. You can't even flip and see it because of the light, but it's pissed down. Let's see if you can see it in this room. Oh, I can't even... What's she done? Hey, Look at that. Oh, I don't even know if you can see the rain. But it's raining outside. And that's not what we like seeing in the very early part of the morning. Even though for me, it's technically not early. Because I went to bed, obviously. Like I said, and this was, what, 10 to 12... But first of all, I didn't go to bed straight away. I put the video together, which only took about half an hour. So I went to bed about half 12. And I did say I got a lot of sleep, which my body battery says is 100%. Hey. Sort it out. <laughs> Somehow. So I'm going to go have a quick wash, then get out, then back to the cup of tea. And then we're going to have movie day today, which means we're going to watch four or five movies getting stuff done I'm a bit wet as you can see my eyes my hair my heat well not my, not so much my heat uh, oh you know oh. Hey, yeah. oh that feels a lot better a lot better I feel like I should do that every day I don't know why I'm having that kind of fucking shower every day. Yeah, man, look at it. Look at the hair. GG. Oh. Now I'm wide awake. I did keep sneezing in the bath. I don't know why. Well, shower. I don't know why. But yeah. Like, if you could just. See? Shit weather. Rain. Crap. And I was hoping to go out on my bike. Do you know what? I might ask. I don't know what my dad's doing today. I might ask him if he wants to go, just go down Ikea. Just, you know, window shop. Do the usual window shopping kind of thing. Oh. Yeah. But we're going to have our cup of tea. Let's hope it's there. We're going to sort ourselves out. Um... I know in the last clip that I said I'm going to like watch four or five movies, which, to be honest, I I need to. Like, last night as I was going to bed, I was watching Helldivers, that he was basically live from one o'clock till something. Uh, this was a couple of nights before. And out of the four hours that he was live streaming for... He was actually only on it for two hours. The other two hours, he left recording for some reason. Like, the outro was just playing the whole time for two hours. So, technically, I just... <laughs> I didn't miss out on anything. I skipped the rest because there was nothing else to watch, which was great. So, now the only things I've got is... Uh, stuff from last night, whatever got put out. Just past 12 o'clock, if there was anything. Um, 
Uh, and then, yeah, I gotta watch everything on the other thing. But, like, my movies from May last year, my the next film that came out on the 23rd or 26th of May was a film called Kandahar. Um, like I've got a list of all the films that I'm going to be watching um, for, the, for that, for the rest of May and June and part of July. But, like, I need to catch up with them because, look, it's March now, the next year. Two more months and it'll be a whole year watching films. And I'd done it last year where it was a year and a bit. And I caught up with it. And then I was doing stuff. And <sighs> that's the thing. You only get a certain amount of films each month, yeah? I could probably watch four films a day for like a week. Uh, and catch up on a good few months. Not a good few months. One month about a good, well, it depends, you know. Or I just like, I pretty much love any kind of film that's out there apart from drama films. So I watch literally anything, science fiction, like thriller, crime, romance, comedy, you know, any of that stuff. And I am, I've still got to watch it from May last year. And this keeps happening where I'm not staying up on top of it because I'm watching other stuff. But it's like, <clears throat> obviously right now I'm doing nothing. And it's like... <sighs> What what do I do? Do I continue with my YouTube and make sure that's constantly updated? Or do I just, like, watch one film here and there? And it's like, I've seen Oppenheimer, right? Because that was a big movie. But I haven't seen Barbie. Pretty sure I haven't seen Barbie. Although my sister did spoil it. So it's like, that came out last year in, what, August? Something like that. So today I am going to catch up on my stuff. And what I might do every day from now on, from like whatever time I wake up, 10 o'clock till 6 o'clock in that 8 hour gap, like I pretty much said like a few weeks back, is watch films, then watch my YouTube stuff after 6 o'clock till probably 1, 2 o'clock in the morning, and then repeat that, just so I'm, like if I kept doing that, I'd be updated by, let's say... <laughs> The next, let's say in the next week, if I kept doing that, let's say next Tuesday, because today's Tuesday, for me guys, it's used Wednesday, or even Wednesday, like, let's say for a whole week, if I'd done that, and I watched 20 plus films, 28, 30 films, depending on how many there are in a month, that might do a month's worth, <laughs> or it might do a couple of months worth, you know. But that's the plan for today is we're going to get stuff done and I'm properly on it. I've cl I've done all the cleaning up I need to do in the house of that I said I was going to clean up. There's no other mess that I've made or my cat's made. You know, I've got my cup of tea. So we need to start getting this stuff done. And that starts right now. Yep, the hairstyle is hairstyle staying like that. Uh, so the first movie we are going to watch is called Freedom's Path, and it's a 2022 historical war drama film that had a limited run February 3rd, 2023, um, and then technically came out in July, but because it said it was released in 2022, it's that far back, so I'm going to watch that first, because I do like war films. War films are good. We like historic war films. Anything historic and warlike. Oh, I hate this. So we're going to watch this. And I will see how it is. I mean, normally, if it's technically a war film like Pearl Harbor or... Why do I always keep basing certain films off certain ones and just... That's the only one, like... I can't remember any others, like 1917. There's... No... Back up there again. What's wrong with you? You're a monster. Right, she's gonna do that, and we're gonna watch movies. See you in a minute. So we watched Freedom's Path. Um, that's the first movie, and it was kind of slow to start off with, but then it just kept getting better and better and better. And it was a good film. It was a good film. 
I realised what the main character in it, he was in 1917 as well. Um, so, yeah. It's a good film in my eyes. Now we're going to watch Kandahar, which is titled Mission Kandahar in Canada. It's a spy action thriller film with our good man Gerard Butler, who produced it as well. Well, he was a producer on the show. So... Seeing as we always like these kind of spy thriller films, let's get on with it. So, Kandahar, we've watched, we have finished, and uh, it was good. It was all right. It's a decent film, decent film. Um, and I noticed halfway through it that my chest was way heavy. Like, my breathing is very shallow right now. don't know why. So I drank some water. I feel a little bit better. I have coughed a couple of times. Um, but we move on to our next film. And it is called You Hurt My Feelings. Which is a comedy drama film. Um, and yeah. I noticed by the way. when I've when I when I've only got three films left of May. And then the rest is June upwards. So yeah. It's pretty good. We're getting stuff done. Uh, but before I watch it, I'm going to go downstairs and I'm going to check on ooh, something that I put on earlier for food, you know what I'm saying? Because man's hungry out here. But yesterday I had noodles and today I just made a little bit of pasta. Now, everyone knows I normally do a big bit of pasta and then it lasts like four, three, four days. But I decided just to do a little tiny bit of pasta first. But today I couldn't be bothered to do like a whole big load of it. Because obviously I'm watching my films. And mum and dad are still downstairs. The weather's still rubbish. Raining as usual. But we move on. So I'm going to make a cup of tea as well. Okay. So. We've finished watching You Hurt My Feelings. And it is funny. I do like the film. Um, let me just get the next one we're gonna watch is the Wrath of Becky. <coughs> Bloody hell! Ooh, what happened here? <laughs> oh, and this one's only an eighty-four minute video. Oh, sorry, eighty-four minute movie, which is kind of good when they're. Under two hours to make it easier. Let me get rid of this one. Put that there. Move that one over here. Technically, after the rapper Becky, there's only one more. So, yeah. I have Princess. She decided to go and join me. Still got a little bit of a breathing problem right now. I did eat some uh, cheesecake. Got a bit hungry. After the pasta. Pasta was good. There wasn't that much. I should have put cheese with it. Oh, I forgot to. Should have grated some cheese and just. Just said normal. Normal pasta. Bit of chicken. Next time I'll have cheese all over it. Um, I should add them meatballs with it next time as well. The uh, Oh, man. There's so much stuff I can just make with all the stuff that I have. But. We're going to move on to the next movie, The Wrath of Becky, which is, I don't know why I keep doing it, it's an action thriller film, which is great. Oh, Sean William Scott is in here. Nice. Nice. So I'm guessing someone plays Becky and uh, she's not exactly happy about a certain thing. So let's get on with it. So... We have, fu we have finished watching The Wrath of Becky, and uh, I like the film. Obviously, it was a good film, because um, it's basically about a 16-year-old girl who just goes around and destroys a bunch of people and uncovers a mission. Well, uncovers a uh, secret, shall we say, and then she... <laughs> and stuff, anyway. But now it is half past eight, which means it is time... To technically make my video go live from yesterday. For today, obviously. 
Um, and then, yeah, find out what I'm going to eat for dinner because I am a hungry man. So now that I have uploaded and I've shared around my uh, daily vlog from yesterday, I am now going to watch Raw from last night, WWE Raw, because obviously I went to sleep. Um, but before I do that, I really put on some food, and that is a specific type of burger. It's a garlic and something burger. I put two of them on with chips. So I'm going to go see how they're doing. Then I'm going to come up here and watch Raw. You, you wouldn't say. Yeah. So, I um, found out what the burger was called. Uh, well, not called because it's on the thing. But, but I mean, it's got garlic and herb in it. That's what it literally says on the packet, garlic and herb. That doesn't say what herb. <laughs> I just ate the rest of the, uh, I was going to say jab cake. I mean cheesecake. And it was very, very nice. And I don't know what she wants. What do you want? I've just given you your treats. <clears throat> I think she wants a stick. Not really sure. But I've still got a heavy chest. That's why I can't can't talk for longer time because I just have to keep breathing so much. It, literally I have a feeling that it could be to do well oh, sorry, one get above. What's wrong with you? Yeah, what do you want to say? You wanna say what's up guys? Cat and Matt. No, do you hate that name? Oh, she hates it, you know it guys. But yeah. What was I going to say? I was going to talk about me basically. I don't know how I've got this heavy chest. Now it could, it could be due to many things. Like lack of drinking water, which I have drank a little bit of water. Not going to lie, I haven't drank a whole lot of water. I've had a few cups of tea today. I woke up really late. I had way more sleep than I was supposed to. So... Luckily, we got water to clear out of our system, the mucus down our throats. Because once that's all out, I'll feel better. I mean, I feel I feel okay enough to like walk around, you know, watch the stuff. But literally, like trying to lay here as well, I have to actually sit upright. That's why I'm literally starting to think about just constantly. I know that's in a mess. But I mean, like, after moving three or four things, the rest just stay on there anyway. <laughs> so, yeah. But I am feeling to not lay on my bed anymore. Well, not sit on my bed anymore. The reason why I got the chair was to use it here. And I have been doing it, but I haven't been doing it as much as I would like to. So, starting tomorrow, I'm going to be at a desk constantly. There'll be no cheating going on around here. Um, let the princess stick. Let's put this here. Alright. Yeah. What do you here? Because we're giving her a treat. Her uh, little dreamies. Gonna give her a stick as well. And then we put the rest here. Well, there's only one. There's only one more left, so. And that was because it was a flipping. This phone case is doing my head in. It's not even straight properly, like. I, I don't understand how. Like. Yeah, why Why is it like that? I, I, I don't understand. It, no, it don't make sense. But I do feel a bit better. Breathing wise. Than I did earlier, I could tell you that. Oh, my back. Why does my back feel weird? It feels weird as in like, do you know what, it might even be because I'm laying like the way that I'm angling my back at. 
Sometimes it's slouchy, sometimes it's straight. Or someone's coming in my room. Anyone up there? Coming to get you? No. And Ghosty's not feeling very well today. Well, he was for the first half this morning, but not for the second half. He wouldn't eat his dinner. So I gave him a few of the little, little treats, and he didn't even want to eat them. Not straight away, anyway. He ate them like five minutes later, but like really slowly. So maybe he's not feeling good as well. But yeah, why do I feel like my breathing has got a hell of a lot better? Just by getting up, standing up, giving her her treat. Like literally, just had that drink. And I feel hella better. Like my chest feels way, way lighter, which is great. I'm very, very happy about that. That's why I haven't vlogged at all today, like hardly any. Obviously, I woke up, I basically cleaned my face and my neck and that. My eyes, by the way, perfectly fine. No itchiness here, no itchiness here. No, no like little digs, no none of that. So they're fine, it's just my breathing. But now that feels better, my back feels better. It's just magically, as soon as I put the camera on and start talking about me be using that, like now, nah, I put my laptop basically away because I'm going to be watching YouTube on my TV tonight because I watched everything on my laptop. I don't need the laptop out. Maybe it's the cheesecake. Maybe the cheesecake done it good. <laughs> I mean, it could be, but I doubt it. But I'm going to leave that there for now. I've got two bottles of water. So I am actually going to lay down, get an earlier bedtime. And um, what I'm going to do is, because I know that the clips before these ones were all little, and it probably amounts to like 20 minutes, I'll put it together. I'm not going to upload it because I'm tired, but I'm going to lay here and watch today's, a few of today's videos. I'm not going to be doing the resting videos, I'm not going to be doing, watch Raw by the way, which is weird because I saw a clip and it was at the start of the show where Cody Rhodes came out, turned out that was actually an hour in it, I thought it was the start, what the hell? <laughs> So I missed that a couple of bits beforehand, but I didn't because I went, I watched it basically. So me and Princess are going to lay down. This is going to be the outro of the vlog because it is 20 to 12 at night. Guys, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. We're, we're at 185. We're at 185. We've been at 185 for a while, a few days, but that's all right. That's perfectly okay. I know it's going to take a while before I get any more people. But if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If you haven't made an account, make an account and then click subscribe. That bell notification next to it, click that as well to get notified when I do upload. If you want to follow me on either Twitter or Instagram or TikTok or Strava, then the links to them will be in the description below. As always, guys, I will see you tomorrow for another video. Now, depending on how my back feels, well, my briefing tomorrow. I might go out but that's because I have to well it's not I have to go there but I'm going to a specific shop to look for a certain item which will be good for this room or I don't know where the hell I could place it I mean I can place it there but anyway we're gonna figure that out tomorrow guys I'll see you tomorrow another video after eight o'clock my time gmt have fun stay safe peace out be good and most of all think positive stay positive and live laugh love